right guys so you see we got our ground beef and then I added about a, a half a cup of milk that was four eggs now I have a half of diced red onion I know you're like what is she doing just just wait for it guys all right and we're gonna add some ketchup Oh, brand new ketchup. Get this opened up. There we go. Gonna add some ketchup. You can be generous with your ketchup. And then we got some Worcestershire sauce. Is that how y'all say it? Y'all gotta let me know in the comments how, how you say it, how you pronounce it. Probably gonna do a couple teaspoons of that, or tablespoons of that. And then my secret ingredient is mustard. Now this is optional. Um, I do like a little tang in my meatloaf. So I'm just gonna add probably about a tablespoon. And then we are gonna add some seasonings with our breadcrumbs. And you can get fancy and get the Italian style breadcrumbs but you already know this is how you bring your meatloaf together. This is probably about a half a cup. Today we're just going off of fillings, not measurements. And then I got some minced garlic. Um, I love garlic, as you guys know, so this wasn't an option for me. It's a must, but it can definitely be an option for you if you do not want to use minced garlic. You do not have to. And we're gonna put in some salt. And remember, um, this is a meatloaf, so we're gonna be generous with our seasonings because it's gotta permeate through without. And then I got some garlic powder. Yes, I am using garlic powder and minced garlic. Don't judge me. And I got some paprika. It's gonna add a nice bold flavor. You know what? It's not coming out like I want it to. We're just gonna do that. They never make those holes big enough for paprika. Then I got some black pepper. You guys, you gotta just follow me here. And then last but not least, some onion powder. All right, then this is where the fun part kicks in. So if your kids or your grandkids ask, can I help cook dinner? Cause mine ask all the time. This can be the part that they help with. Put on our gloves here. And we get to mix everything all together. We got a one dish meatloaf. You don't have to clean any other dishes. Make sure you get everything mixed in nicely. Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious. It smells so good already. And I have my oven preheated to 375. Nice meat loafy texture. These gloves are way too big for me, as you can see. So we're just gonna push that down. Right in there. Even it all out so we can have a nice and even meatloaf. Take these off. And we're just gonna move this for a second and we are gonna create our glaze for the top of our meatloaf. So we're going back to the ketchup. 
and we want a good amount of ketchup. This is gonna be the base. And we're gonna add in some mustard. Now this part is optional. Like I said, I like a little tang to mine. Add in some ketchup. Then we're gonna add in some brown sugar. Probably about two spoonfuls of brown sugar. And then finally, some Worcestershire sauce. All right, and we're gonna give this a nice whisk. I don't know about y'all, but I love the smell of Worcestershire sauce. This is right up my alley. All right, we got that mixed in real good. Oh. We're gonna bring our meatloaf back. We're just gonna dump that all in. Give it a nice spread over everything. You want to make sure this gets over everything so we can have it good tasting over the whole meatloaf, right over the top. Got all my corners and my edges. All right. So like I said earlier, I have my oven preheated to 375 and we're probably gonna leave that in there for about 50 minutes or so, maybe an hour. And then we'll see you guys when we get done. Let's check out our meatloaf. That looks so delicious. I am ready to jump in. I got my plate ready, y'all. Take this corner piece here. Look at that, we got our onions in there, our glaze over the top. It's gonna be so good. Mm. This is so good, the glaze made it perfect. And y'all see how quick and easy that was? You can set it and forget it. Try it out, let me know what y'all think.